When you get up in the morning, you don't have to think about your routine. You get out of bed, have a cup of coffee, have your breakfast, brush your teeth, shower, grab your keys, and go to work. Think of font or textiles as a routine for your designs. Imagine you had to think about every step of your morning routine. Right, I'm awake, so I now need to get out of bed. What now? Oh, I need a coffee. So I have to walk down the stairs. Wait, no, I should probably put some clothes on first. And this is what you're doing with your design every time you don't use a textile in Figma. If you're manually updating every font size and weight every time you make a change to your design, that's a lot of time wasted. Hours, weeks, months. Okay, maybe not months. So how can you automate things like textiles in your Figma designs? Well, firstly, you're gonna need to choose some fonts. And this can be done in a number of ways. You could visit Adobe's font library, for example, or you could visit myfonts.com. And while these services are brilliant, there is a cost implication. Every font you want to use, you have to purchase. However, do not despair. Google comes to the rescue here with their free library of fonts. So head on over to fonts.google.com and you'll see there is a massive library of fonts you can play with here. And the best thing about this is that they're free and we all like free. The font choices you make can massively impact the quality of your designs. They can improve readability, evoke emotions, and be the cornerstone of your brand identity. For example, what fonts would you use for a pet care website or a dating app or a five-star hotel? Each have very different target audiences, so the fonts should help to try and convey that vibe. You don't have to be limited to one font either. You can pair them. So for example, for my headings, I might want to use a serif font, and for my body content, a sans serif font. This is a great way to create contrast between headings and body copy. More contrast means more emphasis, order, emotion, readability, and beauty. So now that you've decided on the fonts you want to use, the next step is to get those fonts into Figma. The great thing about Google fonts is that they are all by default available in Figma and they're free. But before you bring your fonts over into Figma, there's an important step you need to consider, and that is type scales. If you decided to use Google fonts, then Material Design is gonna be your friend here. Material Design is Google's design framework and it has a brilliant typescale system built in. Because you're using Google Fonts, all you have to do is put the fonts you chose into the system and Material Design will set up the typescale for you based on their guidelines for readability. Material Design will generate all the properties you need to bring these typescales over into Figma. So you've chosen your font or fonts, you've got your typescale, now all you need to do is bring that over into Figma. If you decided to go down the paid for route with fonts, you'll need to upload these fonts into Figma. You'll also need an organization or enterprise level account to unlock that feature. So you've got your font properties. All you need to do now is set these up in Figma. I've created a couple of pages here, one for heading styles and one for body styles. Then start setting up your heading styles, copying your properties over from the material design type scale generator, and boom, you have all your textiles set up. The great thing about having these on a couple of typography pages is that it can be a great reference for you as a designer, other designers you work with, or any developers you work with too. Anyone at a glance can jump in and see exactly how that font should look and all the properties that go along with it. Before we continue, here's a little tip. The heading styles you're setting up are going to match HTML heading styles that your developer will create. Heading one is gonna be H1 in HTML. Heading two is gonna be H2, all the way down to H6, which would be heading six. By taking the time to set up these styles properly, you're ensuring an easy handover when you start working with a developer. If you're finding this useful, hit that like button. If we swing back to our morning routine analogy, we're probably at the shower phase by now, but we're not done quite yet. Now that you have all the typography you want in Figma, the next step is to create text styles so you can use them in your design system. All you have to do is select the font style that you set up, slide on over to the four dots over here, click the die icon, and then hit that plus icon. This will open a dialog box, which will ask you to give your text style a new name. Then rinse and repeat for all your remaining heading styles and body styles. And then you have an awesome selection of font styles that you can use across all your designs going forward. So we're almost there. 
there's one final step to your Figma morning routine. This one is pretty simple because you've done all the hard work already. All you'll need to do now is republish your design system so your new textiles become available to all your designs. Slide on over to the Figma icon in the top left, hit the libraries button, and you'll see that it gives you some information about all the new textiles you just set up. I'm happy with those, so I'm gonna hit publish. Your new Figma routine is set up, but how do you know your new textiles are working? You could wake up tomorrow and hope for the best that all your designs have now got perfect typography, or you could test it. Next time you're working on a project, start using the predefined textiles you set up, and you'll quickly and accurately breeze through the process. And if you ever decide to change the font or styles, just update that in your design system, publish it, and your link documents will auto update accordingly streamlined and consistent. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure that you use textiles wherever you can when you're designing. It speeds up the process, gives you a consistent look and feel, and just makes your life easier. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up and please hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.